1 Kings chapter 12 And Rehoboam went to Shechem, for all Israel had gone to Shechem to make him king. So it happened, when Jeroboam the son of Nebat heard it, he was still in Egypt, for he had fled from the presence of King Solomon, and had been dwelling in Egypt, that they sent and called him. Then Jeroboam and the whole assembly of Israel came and spoke to Rehoboam, saying, Your father made our yoke heavy. Now therefore lighten the burdensome service of your father and his heavy yoke which he put on us, and we will serve you. So he said to them, Depart for three days, then come back to me. And the people departed. Then King Rehoboam consulted the elders who stood before his father Solomon while he still lived, and he said, How do you advise me to answer these people? And they spoke to him, saying, If you will be a servant to these people today, and serve them, and answer them, and speak good words to them, then they will be your servants forever. But he rejected the advice which the elders had given him, and consulted with the young men who had grown up with him who stood before him. And he said to them, What advice do you give? How should we answer these people who have spoken to me, saying, Lighten the yoke which your father put on us? Then the young men who had grown up with him spoke to him, saying, Thus you should speak to these people who have spoken to you, saying, Your father made our yoke heavy, but you make it lighter on us. Thus you shall say to them, My little finger shall be thicker than my father's waist. And now, whereas my father put a heavy yoke on you, I will add to your yoke. My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scourges. So Jeroboam and all the people came to Rehoboam the third day, as the king had directed, saying, Come back to me the third day. Then the king answered the people roughly, and rejected the advice which the elders had given him. And he spoke to them according to the advice of the young men, saying, My father made your yoke heavy, but I will add to your yoke. My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scourges. So the king did not listen to the people, for the turn of events was from the Lord, that he might fulfill his word, which the Lord had spoken by Ahijah the Shilonite to Jeroboam the son of Nebat. Now when all Israel saw that the king did not listen to them, the people answered the king, saying, What share do we have in David? We have no inheritance in the son of Jesse. To your tents, O Israel, now see to your own house, O David. So Israel departed to their tents. But Rehoboam reigned over the children of Israel who dwelt in the cities of Judah. Then Rehoboam sent Adoram, who was in charge of the revenue. But all Israel stoned him with stones, and he died. Therefore King Rehoboam mounted his chariots in haste to flee to Jerusalem. So Israel has been in rebellion against the house of David to this day. Now it came to pass, when all Israel heard that Jeroboam had come back, they sent for him and called him to the congregation, and made him king over all Israel. There was none who followed the house of David, but the tribe of Judah only. And when Rehoboam came to Jerusalem, he assembled all the house of Judah with the tribe of Benjamin, 180,000 chosen men who were warriors, to fight against the house of Israel, that he might restore the kingdom to Rehoboam, the son of Solomon. But the word of the Lord came to Shimei, the man of God, saying, Speak to Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, king of Judah, to all the house of Judah and Benjamin, and to the rest of the people, saying, Thus says the Lord, You shall not go up nor fight against your brethren, the children of Israel. Let every man return to his house, for this thing is from me. Therefore they obeyed the word of the Lord, and turned back according to the word of the Lord. Then Jeroboam built Shechem in the mountains of Ephraim, and dwelt there. 
also he went out from there to build Penuel. And Jeroboam said in his heart, Now the kingdom may return to the house of David, if these people go up to offer sacrifices in the house of the Lord at Jerusalem. Then the heart of these people will turn back to their Lord, Rehoboam king of Judah, and they will kill me and go back to Rehoboam king of Judah. Therefore the king asked advice, made two cows of gold, and said to the people, It is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem. Here are your gods, O Israel, which brought you up from the land of Egypt. And he set up one in Bethel, and the other he put in Dan. Now this thing became a sin, for the people went to worship before the one as far as Dan. He made shrines on the high places and made priests from every class of people who were not of the sons of Levi. Jeroboam ordained a feast on the fifteenth day of the eighth month, like the feast that was in Judah, and offered sacrifices on the altar. So he did at Bethel sacrificing to the cows that he had made, and at Bethel he installed the priests of the high places which he had made. So he made offerings on the altar which he had made at Bethel on the fifteenth day of the eighth month, in the month which he had devised in his own heart. And he ordained a feast for the children of Israel, and offered sacrifices on the altar, and burned incense. 1 Kings chapter 13 And behold, a man of God went from Judah to Bethel by the word of the Lord. And Jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense. Then he cried out against the altar by the word of the Lord, and said, O altar, altar, thus says the Lord, Behold, a child, Josiah by name, shall be born to the house of David, and on you he shall sacrifice the priests of the high places who burn incense on you, and men's bones shall be burned on you. And he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is the sign which the Lord has spoken. Surely the altar shall split apart, and the ashes on it shall be poured out. So it came to pass, when King Jeroboam heard the saying of the man of God who cried out against the altar in Bethel, that he stretched out his hand from the altar, saying, Arrest him. Then his hand which he stretched out toward him withered, so that he could not pull it back to himself. The altar also split apart, and the ashes poured out from the altar, according to the sign which the man of God had given by the word of the Lord. Then the king answered and said to the man of God, Please entreat the favour of the Lord your God and pray for me, that my hand may be restored to me. So the man of God entreated the Lord, and the king's hand was restored to him, and became as before. Then the king said to the man of God, Come home with me and refresh yourself and I will give you a reward. But the man of God said to the king, If you were to give me half your house, I would not go in with you, nor would I eat bread nor drink water in this place. For so it was commanded me by the word of the Lord, saying, You shall not eat bread nor drink water, nor return by the same way you came. So he went another way, and did not return by the way he came to Bethel. Now an old prophet dwelled in Bethel, and his sons came and told him all the works that the man of God had done that day in Bethel. They also told their father the words which he had spoken to the king, and their father said to them, Which way did he go? For his sons had seen which way the man of God went who came from Judah. Then he said to his sons, Saddle the donkey for me. So they saddled the donkey for him. And he rode on it, and went after the man of God, and found him sitting under an oak. Then he said to him, Are you the man of God who came from Judah? And he said, I am. Then he said to him, Come home with me, and eat bread. And he said, I cannot return with you, nor go in with you, neither can I eat bread, nor drink water with you in this place. For I have been told by the word of the Lord, You shall not eat bread, nor drink water there, nor return by going the way you came. He said to him, 
I too am a prophet as you are. And an angel spoke to me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with you to your house, that he may eat bread and drink water. He was lying to him. So he went back with him and ate bread in his house and drank water. Now it happened, as they sat at the table, that the word of the Lord came to the prophet who had brought him back. And he cried out to the man of God who came from Judah, saying, Thus says the Lord, because you have disobeyed the word of the Lord, and have not kept the commandment which the Lord your God commanded you, but you came back, ate bread, and drank water, in the place of which the Lord said to you, Eat no bread, and drink no water. Your corpse shall not come to the tomb of your fathers. So it was, after he had eaten bread, and after he had drunk, that he saddled the donkey for him, the prophet whom he had brought back. When he had gone, a lion met him on the road and killed him, and his corpse was thrown on the road, and the donkey stood by it. The lion also stood by the corpse, and there men passed by and saw the corpse thrown on the road, and the lion standing by the corpse. Then they went and told in the city where the old prophet dwelt. Now when the prophet who had brought him back from the way heard it, he said, it is the man of God who was disobedient to the word of the Lord. Therefore the Lord has delivered him to the lion, which has torn him and killed him, according to the word of the Lord which he spoke to him. And he spoke to his sons, saying, Saddle the donkey for me. So they saddled it. Then he went and found his corpse thrown on the road, and the donkey, and the lion standing by the corpse. The lion had not eaten the corpse, nor turned the donkey. And the prophet took up the corpse of the man of God, laid it on the donkey, and brought it back. So the old prophet came to the city to mourn and to bury him. Then he laid the corpse in his own tomb, and they mourned over him, saying, Alas, my brother! So it was, after he had buried him, that he spoke to his son, saying, When I am dead, then bury me in the tomb where the man of God is buried. Lay my bones beside his bones. For the saying which he cried out by the word of the Lord against the altar in Bethel and against all the shrines on the high places which are in the cities of Samaria will surely come to pass. After this event, Jeroboam did not turn from his evil way, but again he made priests from every class of people for the high places, Wherever wished, he consecrated him, and he became one of the priests of the high places. And this thing was the sin of the house of Jeroboam, so as to exterminate and destroy it from the face of the earth.